Life is going to beat you to the ground. Life will break you just when you think you've been through the most hell you'll ever face. It'll hit you even harder. And you'll think about quitting every single day. I know what it's like to wake up every day with a sense of dread and you don't know how you're going to make it and you're all alone and you've got to say to yourself when you fail again and again after facing rejection after rejection many times with tears in your eyes it's possible when life knocks you down sometimes you got to take two steps back in order to move forward when you're in that darkness it's very easy to think you're hopeless it's very easy to believe it's over for you. It's very easy to feel defeated. It's very easy to sit there and hope that something or someone will come and save you. But the truth is, you gotta save yourself. You can't sit there and wait for the light to come. You've gotta move forward and step your way into the light. That darkness is temporary and you can fight your way out of it. It only takes willpower. You think this is it for you? This is far from it. You gotta change your mindset. You gotta start thinking in ways you haven't thought before. You gotta start seeing possibilities for your life you haven't seen before. You can achieve more than you think you can. You're capable of things that would surprise yourself. You've gotta start using your mind to find new ways to break through all these roadblocks in front of you. When you have the will, you'll find a way. And there is always a way. You can get through whatever is in front of you if you decide to. You just gotta stand for what you believe in and don't let anything turn you around. This is your life, this is your dream. Nobody's gonna fight for what you want more than you. If it's gonna happen, it's up to you to make it happen. If you can focus on finding those ways to win and stop focusing on the ways you're losing, you can make it. Everything in your way is just life testing you. Do not fail the test. Rise up and destroy these barriers. The people who win, the most common trait they have is they find solutions, while the losers find problems. The winners are relentlessly working to move their lives into a better state of being. They don't care about the facts. They don't care about the odds. All they do is make a plan and execute the plan. If you change your way of thinking and start seeing the possibilities for you and your current situation, you'll start moving toward victory and away from feeling helpless. But you have got to affirm to yourself that you have what it takes to get through this. Your mind and spirit need to be aligned in the feeling of certainty that I will not stop until I succeed. I will make it happen no matter what it takes, that this is nothing but a temporary inconvenience. There is nothing that can stop me from reaching my dream. Most people won't do that. Most people give up so easily. They never use the real power inside them to do anything great because they can't see those possibilities for their life. Your vision and your perspective of how you see your life is what dictates what you become. If you only ever see yourself as doing just enough to get by, that's all you'll ever achieve. But if you see yourself doing massive things, living beyond what other people could possibly conceive, that's exactly what you'll get. Where your focus goes, your energy flows. So when you're going through turbulence on your path to success, you've got to hold that vision firmly in your mind. Don't allow this negative world to throw you off course. Hold the vision and keep walking toward it. Your mind is your strongest weapon. It has the ability to adapt to any level of pain or difficulty imaginable. It's up to you to harness its power and use it to create new things for you. You can become more creative, more intelligent, more unstoppable. It's only a matter of your mind. You control your mind, you control your life. And when you control your mind, there is nothing out of reach for you. You can be, do, and have whatever you want. The only one who can stop you is you. Some of you have had a marriage fall apart. Some of you have been disappointed in a dream, in a desire, in a goal, in an ambition. And things just haven't worked out the way you wanted them to. And you're starting maybe to feel sometimes a little hopeless. It'll never change. I'll never change. Nothing's ever gonna be any different. And we rationalize with ourselves to where we automatically stop. That's why a bunch of us give up so much in life so quickly. But suppose I told you the greatest pain of my life is the reason I'm standing here today. See, sometimes we think the pain is what controls us, it's actually our subconscious mind 
that if we ever tapped into that, that's what dictates most of our lives. If you don't control pain, it'll control you. What is it that will make it worth it for you to face the rejections, the brainstorm and not be intimidated and say, I can do this. What is it that will make it worth it for you to raise the bar on yourself and say, I got some more stuff in me. What is it that will make it worth it for you to make know your vitamin that you become empowered by it? What is it that will make it for you when you want to give up and things are working against you? What is it? I will help you get back up again. When everything is relaxed and peaceful, yes, we know what we want to be. We know the person we want to become, right? It's very easy to calculate it in that rhyme of reason when nothing's on the line. But as soon as the heart starts to race, or the bill and the pressure of the lifestyle, the, the wife, the family, or the job, all of a sudden, oh, we start to settle. I don't want to be that person that's great when everything is going all good, but when something goes wrong, they flee and they want nothing to do with it. I want to be that person that's going to show up rain, sleet, or snow, and they're going to give you everything they got. You got to take my life before you take my drive. I'm talking concrete commitment. I'm talking a commitment that says, I am going to stay true to what I said I would do long after the mood that I've set it in has left. Because character is not something we inherit. Character is something we got to wake up every single day. We got to fight it. We got to build it. In the midst of adversity, in the midst of challenges, in the midst of failures, we got to get up every single day and we got to fight for peace. We got to fight for happiness. We got to fight for joy. Don't quit. Don't give up. Don't be a victim. Don't take the easy path. Don't squander this life. Instead, live with fortitude. There's times where you think, is there anything that can justify as to why I'm always going through something all? Sometimes nothing ever makes sense that you're going through. I'm going through hurt, I'm going through pain, there's death in my family, there's sickness everywhere. But I tell you what, you can't throw in the time. It just means it's time for you to fight hard. It's time for you to stand tall. Lift your heads to the sky and say, I will overcome this. I will fight back. There's always something good that can come from bad. We live in a world, ladies and gentlemen, where people want instant gratification. They want it right now. No, it's simple, but it's not easy. It's a system that if you work the system, it works if you work it. But make no mistake about it. It's hard. And you are the determining factor. The people that make it in this world look around for the circumstances that they want and if they can't find them, they create them. It's you that you must take personal responsibility to make it happen. It's hard. No easy is not an option. However, ladies and gentlemen, what you will discover is that it's worth it. If people ask you, say, how are you doing? Even if you're having some difficult times, say, I'm blessed and highly favored. Because anytime you wake up and you don't have a white chalk outline around your body, it's a great day. So I say to you, it's possible you can live your dream if it's becoming a diamond, if it's having more, if it's achieving more, if it's being a better father, being a better mother, whatever it is, it's possible you can live your dream. It's necessary that you have a plan of action, that you're resilient, that you stick to, and you work with the system, that you have the vision and never give up, that you become creative and relentless and keep on coming back again and again and again, and that it's you that you gotta take personal responsibility to make it happen, and that it's hard, easy is not an option, and when life knocks you down, jump back up and say, it's not over until I win.